Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Saturday Anything Goes. I received my second order out of the holiday catalog. And so I've got some new goodies to show you. So we'll consider this like a mini haul. It won't take long to get through it. And then I've got um, things ready to do a card using the new stuff as well. So let me just check in over there and make sure I can see when anybody joins. All right. So this is basically it. Um, I got three new stamp sets, one die set, punches, ink, and ribbon and paper. So just a little bit of everything. Um, so why don't we go ahead and we'll just start with the small stuff so I can get out of the way. This is the Cherry Cobbler Striped Ribbon. And look at how beautiful it is. One side is uh, Berry Vanilla and the Cherry Cobbler equally striped but if you turn it over you see a lot more of the very vanilla than you do the cherry cobbler um, so i'm just going to say it's a two-sided ribbon at least in my book it is hi karen hi sandy all right so that was the first thing last time i showed you i had gotten the delicata gold and copper inks um, this was the last one for me to get and that's our silver and it is just so, so pretty. I've used the gold and the copper several times. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of advice. Where it doesn't really wipe off well with just your uh, stamp and chamois or even a more flexible chamois cloth like I normally use. Uh, best thing to do, I mean, it'll get most of it off, but you'll still see little speckles in there. Um, so just run it under the faucet and it will get rid of any remaining ink. Um, so that's a new one that I'm going to try. And I've been using the heck out of our Feels Like Frost paper. So, yep, I had to go ahead and get um, another stash of it. I just love, love, love it. Let me see where I can put all this. All right, let's get on to the really cool stuff. So as I mentioned, I got three new stamp sets a new die set, and a punch. Christmas Gleaming, I love, love, love Christmas ornaments. And uh, so when I saw this, I just knew that I had to have it. Um, one of the ideas that I had for it, we won't do it tonight, but I'll probably make a card with it later, is I got that Mercury Glass um, DSP. Let me just bring it in here and remind you what it looks like. Uh, and I thought, you know, back when I was a kid, we used to have mercury glass ornaments. Um, so I am going to uh, cut out some of the mercury glass and ornaments like this. Oh, and then I'll be able to use my silver ink. So that will be a match made in heaven. So look for that in an upcoming one. But this is a red rubber set. And yes, I've already stuck on all of my labels because I had a sneaking suspicion this would be one of the things that we would play with tonight. And to go along with that, you have, ooh, these are so heavy, um, the Gleaming Ornaments Punch Set. And I think you can see it right there. I'm trying to keep it out of the direct light so it doesn't flash back on you. But it will cut out this ornament and this ornament, which is going to make it super, super easy um, to use some of our great papers with it. And yes, we'll be using that tonight. So I'll put that one aside. Then Peaceful Bows. You know, I liked it when I first saw it. And it was on my wish list, though a little bit further down. But then I started seeing cards where people were using it and realized um, that this really is a great set to have in my stash. Not only is it great for Christmas, but just for winter time. So if you have any winter birthdays, masculine um, winter birthdays would work with this. But I also fell in love with this inside sentiment. May the spirit of peace Gently fill your heart and home in this most wonderful time of year. And then season's greeting is meant um, for the front. And I thought, you know, that's perfect. 
because um, not all of my friends uh, are particularly religious. And so, you know, cards that I send will usually have um, something about, you know, Christ is born or along those lines, the shepherds came. And I thought, this will be really great if I know that I'm sending a card to someone who's not particularly religious. They'll really appreciate that because this is an all-purpose or um, even an all-faith, if you will, sentiment. So I really did like that. Uh, the boughs are great. And hello, who doesn't love pine cones, right? And um, we will be using some of this tonight as well. So two for the price of one. And then this is just a single stamp set. There are no dies, no punches. but uh, And it's actually meant to go with the Advent. Um, what do you call it? It's not like an Advent calendar. It's the boxes, right? Remember um, that we have that. And since I don't have any children who are young or grandchildren who are young, um, I didn't feel the need to get that, but I did fall in love with the stamp set. I think it's just wonderful how we have this berry branch and there's another cardinal, a nice big fat and happy cardinal. Um, so that's going to be cute. I also love this distressed background stamp and then great border stamps as well. So this is just a, a great one to have in your stash. All right, so I'm going to put that up because we won't be using that tonight. But the last thing that I want to show you is to go along with our Christmas gleaming um, punches and stamp set. We do have paper. And this is the Brightly Gleaming Specialty Designer Series paper. It is gorgeous. It has copper accents. And I just absolutely love copper. We had it for Christmas last year as well. And so I'm really glad that they came back with something, um, some DSP that had a lot of copper in it. So look at these. I mean, just beautiful. And even the reverse sides are uh, well patterned. So you'll be able to use this, I mean, all year round because it doesn't particularly have um, a specific holiday type theme to it. So that's one. And then look at this one. Ooh, look at those copper accents. And then on the reverse side of that is a nice mossy meadow. Looks kind of like, uh, from one direction, they look like poinsettias. From another direction, they look like starburst. So again, something that you could probably use all year round. And then this is one of my favorites because you've got your pretty peacock, you've got your knight of navy, you've got your copper. Um, so I just thought how beautiful that is. It's a bit busy, so you'll probably want to pair this with uh, when you're doing a card. I would say um, to have a goodly amount of cardstock showing to help offset it. And then on the reverse, look at this pretty peacock with Knight of Navy over the top of it. Just beautiful. And it's kind of in, um, I guess it's like a scroll pattern, but very, very pretty. Now this one will take your breath away. Wow. So it's the same pattern that is on this one, but it's larger and it's foiled. So that is just beautiful. That's the pretty peacock with the copper. And then on the reverse side, it's just a really nice berry, um, berry branches. So that will come in handy just for a winter card. And then whew, here's another one, heavy on those copper accents. So this is the mossy meadow with the, the copper. Again, we're looking at holly berries and some branches so really pretty and on the reverse side of that is stars on very vanilla i think we're getting down to the end here look at this one wow a very nice geometric pattern but if you shift it one way you can actually see poinsettias so it's, i don't know how they did that but from one angle 
it looks just like a geometric pattern, but from the other, I can see the poinsettia is popping out. And then the reverse of that is a really nice stripe. So you've got all the colors that are in the pack. You've got your mossy meadow, your knight of navy, your pretty peacock, and your very vanilla. And I think that is it for our patterned paper. So, yeah, could not wait to get it. And, yes, we will be using that on tonight's card. All right, so let me put this out of the way. If you hear a loud crash, it's everything tumbling to the floor. I just kind of stacked it all up. So what are we going to do tonight? Well, let me bring in our project box. And, as I mentioned, we are going to be using the Copper Delicata ink. Got a couple of blocks here. And our uh, main ink color... Uh, is going to be Mossy Meadow. And that's also where I went with my choice of DSP. So there's that beautiful holly berry and branches uh, with the copper foiling over the Mossy Meadow. I don't use Mossy Meadow that often, and I'm not sure why. It's a beautiful color, but I guess I've just been so enamored with the icy colors that they've come out with um, that I really haven't given it a shot. So I thought, yep, yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to play around with the Mossy Meadow. Hello, Roz. Glad you joined. All right. Now, I used to just, you know, do my cards on a wing and a prayer. I sort of would have an idea of what I wanted and um, no particular design or anything, but after I had gone through that phase, I was really in um, kind of a funk about what kind of cards I wanted to make next because I thought, well, heck, I've used all my ideas, and that's when you turn to sketches. So if any of you went to On Stage last November, you received this handy-dandy book. Let me just turn it over so you can see. And I'll bet it's still sitting tucked away somewhere. Well, I decided creativity is calling. This was going to be where I, if I found sketches that I liked, I would um, sketch them out here. And then I would also write down for projects that I'd done what all the measurements were because there's nothing worse than wanting to... Uh, do a project or a card uh, that you did last year and not being able to find anything about it. Um, so I'm just going to keep it all in this handy little book. And this is the layout we're going to use. So Mossy Meadow is going to be our frame for everything, but we'll be using <clears throat> that beautiful pattern paper as our background. And then to offset that, because remember I said these are really busy we're going to have a nice bit of very vanilla with another mossy meadow uh, mat let's get started so this is a top folding card and i know for a fact that i want to glue this down so let's just do that right off the bat so what have y'all been doing this weekend i've just kind of been hanging my brother um, stayed with us for the past two weeks to help take care of me and Andy while I was still getting used to my walking boot. Um, but he went home, and so it's just been a very quiet day for us today. I sure was appreciative of him being here, though. All right, so that's our base. Now what are we going to do? Well, my sketch shows that there's a bit of ribbon that's going to go here. And I guess I probably, uh, it would have been nice if I'd put that down before I glued the DSP down, but I'll make it work. Um, and then I've just got pieces and parts. So this is going to be for our main image and it's gonna be just like that. And again, I chose that mossy meadow for a frame to distance the um, design panel from that busy DSP. So don't be afraid to use the DSP, just to make sure that you've got uh, enough solid colors to balance it 
Hello, Brenda. Thanks for joining all the way from Canada. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this bigger bobble directly on the design panel. And I'm going to use the copper ink for that. The other thing I love about this, you can really tell if you've got your stamp inked up right. Okay, and let me just grab a piece of paper real quick. Just in case I go off the page, I don't want to mess up my um, backdrop here. So this stuff is good even if you don't use the Stamparatus. All right. Now, I'm going to have two on here. I'm also going to have one of the evergreen boughs. So I want this one sort of kind of towards the top, but down just a little bit. So let's see how that looks. Oh, I like that. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Let me show you what I mean about the ink. So I'm wiping this off, but if you look right there around the edges and inside the nooks and crannies, there is still some of that uh, metallic ink in there. So do by all means give it a wash, but then run it under your tap when you're done. All right, so we will put that aside for a minute. Now I want to do one of my bows because we are going to fussy cut that. Oh, I'm looking all around for my mossy meadow and it's right in front of me. And the bow I want, because remember, this is not a very big design panel. So let's see. I don't know if this is going to be big enough. Nope, it's not. For what I want, I think we need to use this one, which will be a little big, but mm, we can cut it down, right? Okay, so I'll bring in one of my other pieces of paper. And we'll ink this up in the mossy meadow. And because it's the first time I've inked it up, I like to stamp it once just to see um, how it stamps. And this one stamped beautifully. And my ink pad's nice and juicy. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that down. Perfect. I'm going to do just a tiny bit of coloring with our blends. Really, the, the main thing is the branch. Because we want it to look like a branch. And what am I using? The dark soft suede. Normally, I would use the light first and then do some blending. But this is such a small area, I don't think you would even see it. So we'll just go ahead and color that in. All right. Um, you also could color in the leaves. I don't feel the need to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it the way it is. But what we are going to do, and let me close this up before I have an accident, is use the dies. And I didn't show you them before because I knew we'd be using them. But look at all these dies. Huge, huge, huge. How big is this thing? This thing is almost four inches long and about three and a quarter inches high. So cut that out and put it on the front of a card and you're just about done and ready to go. But the other nice thing is, I'll never get these back on there straight, but that's okay. Look at these. I love a die set that already has dies for your sentiments. Oops. Aren't they lovely? So, lots of good stuff that you get in here. But, I now to run. What we want is this die right here. So, we'll kind of set those over to the side. Wait, is that the one I want? Hang on. That must be the littlest one. Maybe there is 
doesn't want to cut that out. Well, darn fangles. Because that sure doesn't look like it fits. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Change of plans. I'm going to bring out a little mossy meadow. We're going to try just die cutting without stamping since that definitely isn't going to work. Come on. Where's my mossy meadow? I just put you in here. There you are. Okay. And I've got a piece right here that may work for that. Let's see. Yes, perfect. Always got to have a backup plan, right? Because obviously I haven't played with these since I just got them. So we'll run this through. Let's see how it works. I know the camera is going to make the desk shake. Sorry. I'm going to run it through once and then I'm going to bring it back through. Just to make sure we get a good impression here. Oh, very good. Very, very good. All the pieces and parts popped out pretty easily. All right. And let me tell you what my idea is. My idea for this is to take this and run it kind of across the top to make it look like these things, the bobbles, are actually tied to it. But you know, looking at it, I just don't know that that's going to work. Hmm. Well, you know what? We'll be okay. I really wanted it to come off the page, which is why I thought we'd go with this. And I can fussy cut it. Let's do that real quick. Because a girl likes to have some options. And this is a pretty easy one, I think, to fussy cut. I've been getting better at fussy cutting. Mostly because I'm doing it more. <laughs> now this very vanilla is a little bit thicker than regular cardstock. So, got to take that into consideration when I'm doing my cutting. And I'm not going to try and go in through all of these. I mean, as a matter of fact, I can just cut this out and make it easier. I won't have so much paper to deal with. But what we'll do is just kind of go in and out where it seems reasonable to do that. All right. And you know, we may end up liking the die cut better, but it never hurts to try. Some of my best cards have been because I had an idea, it didn't work, and I ended up having to go to plan B. Gotta be flexible, as my hubby would say. I'm not going to go too far in there because that branch is so small or so thin. So let's just quickly do this. Remember, turn the paper, let it do the work for you. And just like that, we're already almost halfway done with it. Oh, when I first started fussy cutting, I used to just try and get in each one of the little areas. But good night, trying to glue those things down when they're that small is not fun. All right, and you know, we might even use both of these, but I really wanted the length and the definition of the leaves and a little bit more very vanilla will certainly not be a bad thing since we've got such a busy pattern on our DSP. Cut that off. All right, we're coming to the home stretch, folks. You guys are probably laughing at me trying to fussy cut. I usually have to do this with my tongue stuck out, but 
Can't have my tongue stuck out and talk to you too. All right. Couple more little dips here. And these needles are kind of spiky anyway. Go in there just a little bit. And I can always take and sponge the edges with a little mossy meadow to get rid of some of that. All right, let's move all my mess out of the way here. Now, so we can do that. And see, that gives me more places to hang from. So that's really what I was looking for. So maybe what we do is use both of them. So we'll get the depth from that. And then this will serve as our bigger branch. So we'll see how that works. I'm not going to glue that down just yet. Um, we've got a little bit more to do. So we'll put that aside for now. Because the other thing is, I want to use my punch. So, hmm, now I could stamp this and punch it on very vanilla. Or I could punch it out of designer series paper. Hmm. Let's see if there's one in here that would sort of kind of go with that. So, I don't want any more copper because I think that would just really make it busy. Don't want to give people a headache. I could. There's not enough of a pattern, though. Hmm. What do you think about that? We could punch it out of that. There you go. Let me, I got a couple more pieces here to look at. I don't think I want stripes, and I don't want blue. So, don't really want more mossy meadow. So, I guess we will stamp it. All right. And I just happen to have a piece of paper here, so we could do just that. I love this scroll work pattern. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to stamp it in, in copper because we got a lot, a lot of copper going on. So let's try the mossy meadow. Although the copper is pretty. But let's just see. That is so, so pretty. Oh, yeah, I'm liking that. All right, where's my punch? Try not to drop this on the floor. I'm afraid it would hurt my floor. These things are so heavy. Okay, so that's the one we're going to use. Love a new punch. And when you don't, when you have a piece that's so small that you can't hold on to it, that's when you bring out the post-it note tape. That will give me something to hold on to so I can put this in there. Pardon my head if it gets in the way. I just want to get it as even as possible success all right now let's look at this then we'll be able to start putting things together first of all let me glue this down to the mat before I do anything else I had to get some more liquid glue too I went through two tubes in a month Whew. but I am getting ready to do my Christmas cards I've gotten some of them done already so Christmas doesn't sneak up on me all right, so my idea was to pop this up, coming a little further down. Oop, I need my ribbon. Sorry, guys, I think out loud. And I know that the ribbon 
actually has gold rather than copper, but I think I can get away with it. All right, so we'll do that. Now let's see which of these I really like. If I do that, I could even bring this down just a little bit further. So do we do that or do we do this? I like them both. What do you guys think? Should I put both or is that too much? I need some feedback. Because I like them both, but the die cut piece just isn't long enough. Hi, Betty. Hello, Amy. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah, sticking my tongue out, Roz. That's me. Okay, come on. Somebody put down. Are we doing both? Are we doing one? What are we doing here? Are we doing neither? And I can just draw a string going up to the top? Because, you know, I could do that. I could also just draw this on. Or not draw it on, but stamp it on. Right there. Maybe I do that. Let me do that. I'm thinking that's a good idea. Let's just do that. What's the worst that can happen? I don't like it, and we have another panel that we can work on here. But I really did like the way that looked with the mossy meadow. Oh, come on, you. All right, so I like that. Now let me get this in shot here. And I want to make sure I have some of the branch going that way. And then what I can do is run a string right up there. Not a real string. You know what I mean. Okay. So I like that. And then this one can hang down because it could be hanging from there. Yep. I think I like it. I think I'm going with it. So... What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Let's put this down first. And I think the easiest way to do that is just with a little tear and tape. So I want it about here. Okay, now I really do have to stick my tongue out. Make sure that I don't get cattywampus. Oops, too far, too far. There we go. Okay. I did get a little too far with my tape, so let me just trim that off. And does your craft area get as messy as this when you craft? Because I mean to tell you, should have seen mine earlier. All right. And I am just going to even up this. And figure out where it goes. All right. Come on, quit moving around on me. Right there. Except I didn't get that very straight. Let me straighten it up. All right, and it's going down. Ah, come back here. I don't know why, but I always get one end crooked. So let's do that again. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to pop that up with dimensionals. And I got a really sticky batch this time. And we'll put this right here. I hope 
hope I'm staying in camera shot, gang. I'm really trying. Oh, that ribbon is horrible. Why didn't you guys tell me it was so crooked? And I'll probably do something with the ends here to make sure they don't ravel anymore. But let's just finish this up. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals as well. Should have brought my minis out for the top part, but no worries. I'll just trim down a piece of this. Perfect. Almost got it. There we go. Okay. Once more, let's see where we want this. I don't even mind. Actually, I think I like it if it hangs off just a little. All right, now how are we gonna do our strings, you ask? Well, I am gonna take, black just doesn't seem like, I have any gold thread. Gold thread would look good. Nope. Okay. So my second best is going to be some good old twine here. So let me, we'll use a glue dot for this. Is that dark enough, y'all? That may not be dark enough. All right, back to the drawing board. We're just going to go ahead and use, I'm going to use a pencil for right now because I really don't want black. So I'm going to cheat and I'm just going to draw a line from the branch right here all the way down to where that starts. Actually, I might even take it Nope, I think that's the right spot. So we'll do that. And then we're going to do that again here. And I know you can't see it. Trust me, I will darken it up. But that's where it's going to live. Right there. All right. So the only thing we have left to do, there's actually two things I want to do. Number one. I'm going to use some of our metallic pearls. Ooh, wait. That's almost copper. I like that. I like the smaller ones better. But they're just gold and silver. I think we can get away with the gold. That's what I'm going to do. I've been working on projects all day today, and I did one last night. I've just been kind of in that zone where I'm, everything is just coming easily. It flows. It's another reason why I was glad we had a quiet day today. <laughs> that one stuck right inside my Band-Aid. All right, let's try that again. Hi, Miss Winnie. Miss Winnie just came and sat at my feet. We had meatloaf tonight, and oh, she was in the kitchen with me the entire time I was fixing it. And then I left the kitchen to come in here and continue crafting, and she didn't follow me back here. So about 10 minutes later, I went to check on something, and she's laying right there waiting for the meatloaf to be done. She's just too funny. All right, guys. The last thing I want to do, I think I'm going to put a little bow over here to hide that frayed edge. So I'll put one together real quick. Get my ribbon box down. 
I have all my ribbons on a little shelf that my brother kindly affixed to the wall for me. Bring out my handy dandy little bow maker because otherwise we'd be here all night. That's not going to be big enough. I need one more. And single bow. We'll do a double. You know I love my little bow maker. All righty. That easy. I have a cute little bow that can go on that one edge and that will hide my boo-boo where I didn't have sharp enough scissors to cut it without fraying. All right. Don't want it to be very big. Just about that. Oh, yes. I like that. It adds a great finishing touch. So here it comes. Our glue dots, one should be plenty. And there we have it. Whew. Took a little more brain power because I thought I had everything figured out before we started, but hey, not bad. And I'm glad that I could create a card for y'all with some of the new product. Now, you know, there's all kinds of ways that you could glitz this up even more. Um, heat embossing with some copper powder would be fine. You'll notice I did not put a sentiment on the front. And that's because I just, I wanted that DSP to really stand out. And I knew since I had that design panel, um, there really wasn't much of a space to put a sentiment. So for this one, I will just have the sentiment on the inside and I will be using this one right here. So I think it's going to be perfect. All right, gang. Sorry that took a little while, um, but I just wanted to play with that from the moment that I opened it. I had to wait for you guys. And we got her done. Okay, let's see. Y'all are talking to me. I better scroll down. Thank you, Roz. Thanks, Brenda. Oh, good. Thanks, Catherine. Hello from Maryland. Wow. All right. Before I let you go real quick, I said I've been working on stuff, so let me just bring out a couple of the things. Um, now you can understand why I had to get more of that first frost paper. Yep, I love it. And then this is the deer from Nature's Beauty. Uh, remember, that's the stamp set where Stampin' Up! is donating $3 of every uh, purchase of the stamp to mental health. And then... I did a fun, fun, fun little project. I have to show you this. I showed it to my husband. I told him it was my little magic box. So he used up some pieces of uh, the mosaic paper, which I love. Why did I call it my magic box? Well, because you lift the lid off. And yep, it's a box. You could put a handy little um, goodie in there, fill it with treats. But the magic happens when you see it opens up again. So it's actually a double-decker box. Is that not adorable? Oh, I'm going to make a bunch of these for Christmas because it'll be a surprise for people. They'll open it up and see that first box, and they'll say, well, wait a minute. It doesn't go all the way down, and then I can show them how it's got that bottom part. You just never know what I'm going to do. Okay, everybody, thanks again for tuning in tonight. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments, and I'll get right back to you. Uh, if you are not with Stampin' Up! already, and uh, you would like to get in on the pre-order, because remember, there's still a couple weeks before it's available to our customers, you can leave me a comment on that before I'd love to have you join my team. I will let you all go. Thanks for joining tonight. I hope you have a blessed tomorrow, and we'll see you next Saturday. Bye-bye now.